It's November. The temperatures are perfect. The river in our area is as low as it's been, I don't know, in years. I think it's time. Vida, uh, traffic experimental two Delta Mike's taxing from the hangars runway one four. Vida. Ooh, that's a pretty chill. Good morning. Hey, hello, Mr. Hunter. How are you? Hunter works here at Vida Airport. He is a phenomenal guy. Has a ton of really cool uh, aviation video. Check him out on TikTok. That plane guy ninety nine. Where are you headed to this morning? Uh, I'm just going to go look at the river. Nice. Enjoying that. Yeah, it's probably as low now as it'll be for the rest of the year, so I just want to go play around. Nothing wrong with that. Vade, right, traffic. Two Delta Mike's departing, one four, Vade. Right, oh, hold on, let me send the text to the wife that I am taking off. Delivered. All right, here we go. It feels like I'm crawling down the runway. Hard to believe this is max speed right here. So the winds are out of the south. Now the sandbar I'm going to look at today is called Kenneth's Bar. Kenneth flies a kit fox. Uh, Tony Zorn, the Swamp Monster, named this bar after Kenneth because I think he was the first person that Tony brought uh, to this bar outside of himself. I think that's the history. And Kenneth told me normally he lands it from the south and showed me to cut out the trees he uses, uses for the approach. But um, today the winds are out of the south. We're at 85 miles an hour indicated airspeed with a 66 knot ground speed according to four flight. Hopefully you've seen the video where we went camping on the beach. And now today we're going to do our first river bar landing. And uh, this is exactly, again, why I bought the Avid was playing in the backcountry off airport landings, just having a blast. Alright, here's the straightaway. Ooh, you couldn't get down river right now if you wanted to. Maybe in a small John boat. And I believe, yep, that is Kenneth's bar. That's it. I got the jitters a little bit, I won't lie. But that's good, it'll keep me on my toes. Beautiful. Here we are, first bar landing in the books for the Avid uh, here at Kenneth's Bar on the Oconee River. And man, this is beautiful. This is just beautiful.
you know, for the longest time, the only reason I have not landed on the sandbar yet was because in the Avid, I have mechanical brakes, which don't work that good. And I just was thinking, man, I need some really good brakes to start hitting sandbars. And Kenneth told me, he was like, no, nah, man, we never use brakes on the sandbars because your tail wheel is pretty much like a plow and uh, just almost like a speed brake. Well, uh, I will concur that it is a speed brake. As soon as I landed, uh, the brakes were on. So. I'm gonna step it off and see roughly about how long it took me to get stopped. Again, with no brakes. So, because I chopped power and almost a panic to just get it on the ground as soon as I could. So I had a good, I don't know, 20 feet worth of bounce. You know, three separate little skids there. So I was doing myself no favors. So basically 400 feet from the time I first touched down my three hops and then completely stopped. Which again, for my first bar landing, uh, using zero brakes and uh, a series of skips in there, I'll take that as a win. So we can only improve from here. See, I could just edit that part out and say I did it in 150 feet, but that wouldn't be very accurate and I want you to know that I suck so <laughs> if I can do it you can do it a common question I've been asked a lot here lately is do I miss my Cherokee 180 because you know you could haul more people and you could lo go longer distances and uh, the short answer is yes I definitely I have to admit that I have missed being able to load Erica and the kids, or Erica and two of the kids, and uh, or a group of buddies and just take off and go flying and eat dinner somewhere. Uh, so I have missed that, but the amount of fun that I've had in this thing, eh, it tops it. So I definitely do not regret buying the Avid. It has been, I've had way more fun in it than I did in my Cherokee as far as adventures go. But hopefully, um, you know, when you start subscribing to this channel, who knows, maybe YouTube will buy the next plane. All right, I said that jokingly, but on a serious note, over 70% of the views I get on my videos are from people who are not subscribed to the channel. So, hey, if you're gonna come back and watch them anyway, help a brother out, hit that subscribe button, and I'm making a push to get to at least 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So, go ahead, hit that button. All right, so I've got the Ava turned around. The winds are dead calm, so I'm just gonna take off to the north, hook the river, and climb out and go back to Vidalia because I need to make it to church on time. 